Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have indicated that they will avoid surprise private trips that would distract attention from the Queen's Jubilee celebrations, according to new reports. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex will return to the UK next week for the Platinum Jubilee weekend, in their first official trip back together since they stepped down from royal duties. They are expected to attend several of the official royal engagements over the extended weekend. Sources involved in putting together the celebrations have been frustrated by the uncertainty over where the Duke and Duchess will pop up over the weekend, expressing fears any unannounced visits could take the shine away from the monarch's moment. The Sussexes' surprise visits have fed worries that a media circus will follow them during their brief trip back, rather than focusing on the Queen's achievements, The Telegraph reports. The newspaper said the Duke and Duchess, 40, intend to limit themselves to pre-planned public engagements during their visit and staying away from spontaneous or unofficial appearances. Meghan made an unforeseen trip down to Texas on Thursday, visiting the grief-stricken town of Uvalde which was the site of the U.S.'s worst mass school shooting in over a decade earlier this week. The Duchess appeared overcome with emotion as she lay a bouquet of flowers at a makeshift memorial site near Robb Elementary School. Two teachers were killed alongside 19 schoolchildren when 18-year-old gunman Salvador Ramos opened fire in a classroom after barricading himself and with the terrified pupils and staff. But looking ahead to the Jubilee weekend, a spokesperson for the couple said they were excited and honored to make the trip back, bringing with them their two children. But Prince Harry, 37, and wife Meghan will take a back seat at some of the most prominent events of the extended Jubilee weekend. They will not stand with the rest of the royal family on the Buckingham Palace balcony during the Trooping the Color Parade, kicking off the celebrations. The parade will mark the Queen's official birthday on Thursday, June 2. A Buckingham Palace spokesperson said the Queen had decided to limit the royal representatives out on the balcony after careful consideration. They said that the group would be limited only to members of the royal family who are currently undertaking official public duties. However, reports suggested earlier this week that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are likely to join the royal family for the Friday service at St. Paul's Cathedral. The Sussex's biographer, Omid Scobie, said Prince Harry had spoken with his grandmother about the balcony appearance long before the news hit the headlines. He said the couple was very keen to be part of the celebrations, but both sides agreed it would be more appropriate for the Duke and Duchess to skip the balcony appearance. Writing for Yahoo!, the Finding Freedom author wrote, as is often the case, the reality is much less severe when you hear that Prince Harry had already spoken with his grandmother about the possibility of not attending Trooping the Color long before last week's announcements. Earlier this month it was revealed that Harry and Meghan will not appear on the balcony of Buckingham Palace during the Trooping the Color ceremony, after the 96-year-old monarch limited the lineup to working members of the royal family. A spokesperson for Buckingham Palace said, After careful consideration, the Queen has decided this year's traditional Trooping the Color balcony appearance on Thursday 2 June will be limited to Her Majesty and those members of the royal family who are currently undertaking official public duties on behalf of the Queen. It is unclear whether Harry and Meghan will still attend the ceremony on Thursday 2nd of June, which will kickstart the Jubilee festivities. The Queen's decision means that Prince Andrew, the Duke of York, will also not make an appearance on the balcony. Andrew stepped down from public duties in 2019. In February he paid an undisclosed sum out of court to settle a civil sexual assault case brought against him in the U.S. by Virginia Jufrey. Andrew has continuously denied all claims levied against him. Earlier this week, the I reported that Harry, Meghan and Andrew are likely to attend a service of Thanksgiving at St. Paul's Cathedral on Friday 3rd of June. An unnamed royal source said that private family events will also be held at both Buckingham Palace and Windsor Castle. The publication also reports that Harry and Meghan are expected to attend events on the fringes of the official Jubilee celebrations, such as those organized by charities, 